Yeah, uh, thanks. Um, so, um, yeah, let's get meta with it. Oh, it's is this not working? Let me try that, Mike. Is this better? Okay. Um, so I prepared this presentation based on the uh, weekly chain set dump file that's created um, along with the, the planet file on planet.osm.org. Um, the data I'm using is as of July 4th, and I stuffed it all into a Postgres database um, with a script I wrote that's out on GitHub. Um, and then I just started doing some queries and seeing what interesting data popped up. And uh, there are many full table scans to be done. So I'm glad, I'm glad SSD has been invented at this point in history. So what is a change set? Um, if you're not aware of this, it's a non-atomic collection of related edits. Uh, academic uh, phrase, but generally it's a, uh, an editing session. So every time you hit save in ID, it creates a change set uploads the data to that change set, and then closes it. Um, with JOSM, you have a little more control. You can leave the change set open. You can add more stuff to it later, um, although the server will close it on you if you leave it open for more than one hour. Um, they haven't always existed. It was introduced along with API version 0 0.6. Um, and all the, all the edits before then were um, just on their own, so they uh, created some change sets to contain those. So 8, 870,000 of those. Um, so what information do we have on each change set? We've got um, user information, so who made the edit, uh, where they made the edit, uh, the, the time that they submitted the, uh, the changes to, to the OpenStreetMap server, and the number of map objects that the change set touched. And then there's, like with every object in OSM, it has tags that can be completely freeform. Generally, uh, we always try to set a comment, and most editors set a created by tag to indicate which editing software was used to, to make the edit. So as best I can tell, this is the first real change set that was made uh, after the API 0 0.6 was released, um, just adding some buildings on university campus. Nothing special. Uh, so overall, we have 40 million and a half change sets. Um, there are 2 million empty change sets, and this is a combination of the old, old versions of Potlatch used to open a change set as soon as you launched the editor, even if you didn't make any changes. Um, but there was also some kind of script or something that went rogue in uh, the middle of 2014 and created 500,000 empty change sets for no reason whatsoever until it was banned. Um, so the total number of changed objects that has been recorded is just over six, 6 billion. Uh, in theory, this should match the sum of all of the version numbers of all of the objects in the OpenStreetMap database, but I'm guessing it doesn't really match up. Um, data consistency is hard over a 15-year project. Um, and well, when I started analyzing some of the spatial aspects of the change sets, uh, I started getting errors from Postgres saying, hey, you've got invalid geometry. And I was like, how can I have invalid geometry? It's a box. You've got two sets of latitude and two sets of longitudes. Well, it turns out if your latitude and longitude is 214, it is indeed invalid. How were these created? I have no idea. <laughs> Undoubtedly some b bugs in early versions of the API. Um, I think I haven't seen, I think the last one of these I saw was in 2014 maybe. I don't remember off the top of my head. So uh, I mentioned uh, one of the tags we like to set is uh, a comment tag, and uh, this can be used to, it's really a way of interacting with the community, the rest of the editing community, to explain your edit, um, 
or highlight specific aspects about the edit that uh, other users might find useful in the future. Um, a lot of times I'll see like a business created an account just to add themselves to OpenStreetMap, but they messed up the tagging on their business, like a lawyer just put like their name and nothing else. But because they left a change set comment that said adding myself to, to the map, uh, and their, the account name matches the, the, office, the lawyer's name, and so then I can go back and fix it pretty easily um, because I know what they were intending to do, even if they didn't do it right. Uh, there's also, it can certainly um, help future mappers if they look at something and think it's not quite right. Uh, I often take a look at, at the change set in which uh, the data was created or, or updated. Um, so if someone comes through Kansas and says, you know, changing all roads in Kansas to um, surface equals dirt because Kansas is full of farms, so that must be correct. If I see that in a change set comment, I'm going to be like, well, no, that's ridiculous. I'm going to revert that. But if they say, you know, updated roads in Kansas uh, along my route through the state and added surface tags, then that's probably correct. So I um, made a word cloud out of all of the change set comments. Um, apparently, all the cool kids in OpenStreetMap add roads from Bing. <laughs> um, so some things I noticed in this, though, so, uh, the, the words add, added, um, that kind of stuff is much more common than updated or fixed. Um, I think this means we haven't finished mapping the world yet, so we're still adding data. Uh, at some point, we may get to a steady state where we're updating more than we're adding. Um, probably a few years in the future. Um, and you'll notice just under the R from the row, there's a B box word down there. That's actually an artifact from an older editor that's not used much anymore, uh, Mercator. Um, and it put as its change that comment the bounding box and the number of changes and something else automated uh, in, the, in the change set comments. And I'm like, well, that's kind of silly because that's all recorded anyway by the server. So I don't know why they did that. But So this is for all the change sets um, since 2009. Uh, here is for just the year 2010, the first full year that change, set, change sets existed. So you notice there is there is actually Bing, but it's very obscure, tiny. Um, and you'll notice um, somewhere towards the top, it actually says Yahoo. Who remembers mapping from Yahoo imagery? Must have a lot of new users here. <laughs> um, the original version of Potlatch, Potlatch 1, uh, defaulted to using uh, Yahoo imagery back when I started. Uh, you'll also notice the B box word there is more prominent. The uh, Mercator editor was more popular back then. Um, and I noticed there are a few more German words in the early days. Um, so. Here is the same thing for the year 2015. Um, apparently hot has had an impact on OpenStreetMap. Uh, Bing, I was actually rather surprised to see this, that Bing was um, reduced in prominence by uh, the hot OSM tag and um, yeah, I think, it, and this doesn't take uh, change set size into, into account, like the number of objects. It's just number of, of change sets. And a lot of hot activities are, um, you know, they encourage you to save often so you don't conflict with other people who are editing next to you. Uh, so it creates a lot of change sets. Um, so this is a map conference. I haven't shown any maps yet. So let's get to a map. Um, this is the bounding boxes for all of my change sets. Uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I live in Kansas. Uh, I have done some edits around the, around the nation uh, with county, county borders and that kind of stuff. So I get around. 
Um, so here is the average size of a change set. And I was pretty surprised at how big it was. Uh, and then I realized that the average was a terrible statistic to use. <laughs> In fact, the median change set size is about 100 meters by 100 meters. Um, of course, the, the large chain sets that span the country or the continent or the globe um, skew the average heavily. Um, so I decided to look at this some more and looked at all chain sets less than one kilometer in size. And it turns out most of them are uh, really tiny. So probably editing one or two points on the map. And to me, this is, this is good. Um, the more local our edits are, the more accurate I think they are. Um, you know, if you're sitting at a restaurant, pull out your phone and add information while you're sitting there, it's probably correct. If you're trying to update all the restaurants in North America, you're probably going to make some mistakes. And there's a whole automated code of conduct for automated edits if, you're, if you are trying to do something like that. So, um, so I, I want to see more of this. More, more local edits, more small edits. Um, so uh, next I looked at edits by state. And this is just total change sets. Uh, I reduced the change sets to a centroid and eliminated ones that uh, were larger than about the quarter, a quarter of the size of Kansas. Um, and so it turns out Texas is huge. And New York and California have a lot of people. Um, so it's not all that interesting of a map. Uh, Colorado stands out a little bit. Not sure why it has so many, so many more change sets. Um, but if you really want to leave an impact on the map, you can go to North Dakota. <laughs> so here I um, evened out by uh, population. And it's interesting to see that Texas and New York both lost heavily on this map. Um, and California did a little bit, but not as much as, as those two, for, for sure. And um, some of the, the um, less populated states um, jump out more on this map, um, South Dakota and Wyoming in particular. So it's kind of interesting to see. Um, as far as number of objects changed, uh, the API has a limit of 50,000 objects. The API also had an off by one error. So there are change sets with 50,000 and one objects. Um, I believe that's been fixed in the meantime. So um, yeah, the average size is 156 objects per change set. Um, and the median again is, is substantially lower. So uh, let's look at our, some data sources. Uh, ID automatically adds an imagery used tag uh, that is determined by what imagery layers you have um, enabled while you make edits. And JAWSM also now strongly encourages adding a source tag. It used to be pretty much you had to try to add it. But now they ask you to add it. Um, so here's usage of the source and imagery used tags over time. And this is a logarithmic scale because otherwise up through 2012 would have been nothing. But it does kind of hide the fact that between 2012 and 2013, um, this, the usage of the source tag doubled uh, from 40,000 to 100,000. Here's a uh, word cloud of the, of the source tag. Clearly Bing is a prominent source of data for us. Uh, but there's also local knowledge is pretty, pretty prominent. And this word cloud generator just takes individual words, so um, the local and the knowledge usually go together and change the comments uh, that I've seen. Uh, and there's a survey is also very prevalent, which is good to see. We like people getting out and actually looking at their map data. And you can see uh, Mapillary up on the upper left. So people are starting to use that. Here is a similar thing for the imagery used tag. Uh, and so this is from ID only. 
the uh, local GPX is what ID uh, puts in if you load a, a GPX file from your from your computer. Um, I'm getting a stop sign here. Don't I have five more minutes? No. Okay. I'm sitting at 15 minutes here on my timer. Anyway, um, I guess just quickly cover this. Um, so, have you ever been asked how do you prevent um, vandalism in OpenStreetMap? It's always a question I get when I try to explain it to people. Uh, we get bad edits, bad imports, you name it. Well, we don't prevent it, we just revert it. So, uh, I looked at how many change sets there were with um, revert or vandalism in the in the uh, comment. And there's there's quite a number, but at the end of the day, that 43 million compared to the 6 billion is a pretty small drop in the bucket. Um, so we don't generally have a, a big problem with uh, vandalism. Um, here's revert activity by year. Uh, the spike there is a single user in, 20, in 2009. Single user reverted a bunch of small change sets. Not sure why. Um, and we have a pretty healthy suite of mobile editors. Um, I mapped out their usage over time. That spike in January 2015 is, again, actually a single user who apparently created 7,000 object change sets in an iOS application. I have no idea how that's even possible. but. <laughs> Um, so, all right, I guess I will cut it off there. I have a few more slides, but I'll, I'll make them available somewhere. Um, I have some stuff about hashtags, um, where hot is very prominent, but um, I guess we will call it good there. Uh, do I have a link to the slides? No, not yet. I was still tinkering with them this morning. So, <laughs> but yes, I will put it out somewhere. Um, I can put my all tweeted out. You can follow, see, see me on Twitter there. Yeah. About conflicts? So are you talking about like when you try to upload something and it conflicts with someone else, or are you talking about like edit wars? Um, no, that's you can't really see that in this data because this is just change sets after they've been uploaded and all the conflicts are resolved. What's that? Yeah, we don't have that data. All right. Uh, let's give it to Toby. Thank you.